Welcome to this unit titled Functions. In this unit, we will try and understand what JavaScript functions are and how we can use them. At the basic level, a function in JavaScript is very similar to functions in other programming languages. A function is basically a piece of code, right? a few statements or even one statement, which is isolated out into a separate thing that can be called by other pieces of code. right? So there are ways in which you can pass arguments to the function and have the function do things with those arguments and perhaps give a return value back. This concept is more or less the same, uh, but there are certain nuances which kind of take a turn. Things are a bit different later, but for the basic part, let's look at the way we traditionally think of functions as a, a way to bundle logic that can be reused. So I'm going to start by creating a simple function called say hello, which prints something to the console. The way to create it is using the function keyword. So I type function and then I give the function name, say hello. And then the open close parentheses indicate that this is a function. And then the open close curly braces indicate the body of that function. So in the body, I can add code which is going to be a part of the function which executes when the function is called and executed. So here I'm going to print a simple console.log hello, right? Very simple function which contains one line of code which prints something to the console. And now the way to execute the function is by using the name of the function with the same open close braces, okay? And uh, if I were, parentheses, I'm sorry. If I were to execute this, reload and run, you see hello being printed. So I'm declaring a function and I'm calling it using its name, all right? Now this is what results in the hello being printed over here. When the JavaScript interpreter runs, it executes line one and says, okay, there is a function declaration. It registers this function, but it does not print anything to the console. The execution comes all the way to line six, and this is where the, the function is called, and that's where the control jumps back to line two and prints the value to the console. Again, this is simple function concepts, which is you know kind of common across multiple programming languages. This shouldn't be much of a surprise to you guys. All right, so, Functions can also take in arguments, like I said. If I were to say hello to a person and I want the person's name to be passed in as an argument, I can declare the function as something that accepts arguments. And then when the argument is passed, I can use that argument in my logic. So the way, the way to create uh, and declare an argument to the function is typically, in uh, even in other programming languages, it is when you write something here between these parentheses, which indicate what your parameters for the function are gonna be. C++, Java, they all have the same concept. So typically in those languages, what you would do is you give the data type and the variable name, which is going to contain the value that somebody who was calling it would have passed. So it would be something like int a and then uh, float b and all that stuff. But in JavaScript, we don't have these kind of typed variables, right? Everything is a var, so you don't have int and float and double and all that. So rather than have var a and then var b, well, the language designers thought, why simply add var? Just skip it. So you don't have to declare the type or even declare it as a var. You just send the list of arguments as, uh, you know, a list of variables, comma separated, and those get the right value. So in this case, I just want to take one value, which is the name. So I'm just going to say name, okay? So no var name, no string name, just name. Now that, now that I have name here, I can say hello to that person. So I'm just going to use the string concatenation here. And then I say hello name. And now if I were to call this function with a name value, which is again sending the actual value in the parentheses, Let's say I want to say hello to myself. Now I can right click and run, and it is going to say hello Kashik because Kashik is the value, the string value that is sent to the function. When the function executes, name is going to be a variable which contains a value, which is the string Kashik. So this is how you send 
parameters to functions. You can have multiple parameters as well. The way to send multiple parameters is again using comma separated values here. And then, you know, you can say multiple parameters over here, and then you can accept the right parameters over here, again, comma separated. So let's, let me add one more argument and I'll show you some weird thing that JavaScript does. For now, everything is more or less, it makes sense, right? I hope it does. So let me add one more parameter, which is, um, let's say, time of day, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna print that here. I'm just accepting another argument and then printing the message time of day is, and then just print that value. So let's say I add time of day as another string here. Let's say afternoon. And if I execute this, it gets both those values and prints them both. Again, this shouldn't be much of a surprise. All I'm doing is sending two arguments and then I'm using those arguments in a single console.log.